Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Wednesday, September 16th, and we have 106 days left in the 2020 edition of the Game of Life. And you know what today is? Today. Today, Wednesday, September 16th, is a great day to have a perfect Shibboleth day. This is, we've woken up. We are here. We are on the list. We're on the wake up list this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that. Thank you so much. And we get to live a perfect Shibboleth day. Not that we have to do that. We get to do that. When you hop on this morning, please say good morning where you're from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Glad y'all are joining me this morning. So I'm going to start off this morning by thanking Miss Samantha Phillips for sending me this card. I got this card in the mail. It was so sweet. So thank you for thinking of me. I'm going to add that to my other cards. I appreciate that. Good morning, Tammy King from Ohio. She is having a fat, burning, perfect day. I love that. That's a great description to remind you of what you are doing. Uh, yeah, Samantha. Thank you for my card. And um, Sherry Ditto is reminding us that it is way in Wednesday. So if you are near one of the shibby shops, you can go and weigh in. Now Dalton isn't open for classes, but it is certainly open for you to go in and shop and go in and weigh. But it's just not open for classes. But uh, the Kennesaw Shibby Shop, we've got everything going on right now. But we would love for you to come in and weigh today. Wednesdays are a good day for weighing in. So thank you for reminding of that. Reminding us of that, Sherry. Good morning, Karen and Pamela from Alpharetta. Good morning, Dawn. Good morning, Penny from Bremen. Having a perfect day. That's awesome. Diane Rue Rody's having a perfect day. Thank you, Jesus. She's there. That's right. Thank you for sharing, Pamela. Thank you, Samantha. Good morning, Melanie. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Charlene from Dallas. Good morning, Charlene from Michigan. And Dawn is having an intermittent perfect fasting day in Ackworth. And Teresa from Mineral Bluff, remember to pray for her nephew who is having surgery today. She's going to have a perfect day. Yes, yes. So, dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we, we thank you that we can come together in prayer and pray for Teresa's nephew who is having surgery today. We ask that everything goes well according to your plan and that you just guide these surgeons' hand to make everything work as it should in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. Yesterday, our devotion was called a student, being a student. Um, and I wanted to ask you, did anybody yesterday recognize a thought pattern or a pattern that they needed to change? Did anybody recognize something yesterday? A pattern or just... Because we can slip into old habits and patterns pretty quickly. In fact, the other night at the show, I mean at the show, at the shibby shop uh, for class, I did, I acted like a zombie. It was like, walked across the room, hey, I'm headed to the refrigerator. I'm headed to the pantry. You know, because sometimes we do that. We'll just be sitting in our chair. Y'all give me some hearts if you know this is true. You'll be sitting in your chair and all of a sudden your mind says, eat a cookie. Well, that's not really from the Holy Spirit, okay? Uh, Diane, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. That share button is in the bottom left-hand corner, everybody. Bottom left-hand corner. Yeah, does anybody ever do that? And then you just automatically walk your thought pattern, which takes you to a place of a slippery slope. So what I want you to do is you have to learn to recognize that that is happening and when that recognize, when you recognize that's happening, do something different to break up the pattern. And you do that over and over and over until it's broken up. Hey, good morning, Deanda from Smyrna. Having an intermittent fasting day. Awesome. Way to go. Way to go. So I hope that y'all just start recognizing those things. Oh, I'll recognize them too. And then I'll just start like, okay, I'm not going to do that. What am I going to do? Let me filter through my shield first. And then where am I going to take this to not do what's not right for me today? So, good job. All right, lunches. Let me read three lunches that you could have on the Shibboleth lifestyle. Do you know that you could have a burger on a Thomas Light English muffin? And up to 50 calories and condiments if you wanted that. Personally, 
I think that is too big. That's a lot of food. I couldn't even do that because if you eat a burger and that whole English muffin, you'd be really full. So I, that would be too much for me. But you can. You can do it. Uh, you can do fish in any category to vegetables. Do you know what I've started liking since I started Shibola? Salmon. I've started liking salmon. So that's a good little change. So I can do fish. I could cook it up in MCT oil and do it with a category two vegetable and have the fastest fat burning combination. And then I could have a Zaxby's grilled chicken breast filet with a side salad. I've never ordered that there before. I just do the salad, uh, which I like a lot. So I could do that. Now, obviously, there's some different ways to order that. So you'll have to open up your restaurant guide and make sure that you've ordered that in the right way, in the right way. Yeah, it is good, Penny. It is. It's really good. I have really enjoyed salmon. I tell you what, though, one day uh, last year, yeah, last year, I was at a meeting, and I was sitting with some people, and I was eating what I thought was a chicken salad, a, a salad with grilled chicken strips on it, and I said, wow, this is the best chicken I have ever had. This is so good, and the person sat, sitting next to me said, you know that salmon, right? I said, it is? This is good, <laughs> so I started eating salmon, and then I go to this restaurant over in Alpharetta sometimes, and it's a luncheon thing, so you have limited choices, and one of the choices of veggie pasta, which they hardly put any veggies in it. Not that I would eat it anyway, because it's the pasta. But, uh, and then the other thing is chicken, but it's got potatoes with it, and I don't want to eat their potatoes there. So I do the salmon and asparagus, and it's so good. And on the way home from that restaurant one day, I went by Kroger and bought myself some more salmon so that we could cook it at home. So, I've kind of gotten into the salmon. Hey, Michelle. Oh, she had salmon at Rays on the River. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice restaurant. I hope you enjoyed that. That would be great. So, we're going to do our little devotion today, and then I'm going to show you a little visual of why you want to journal, okay? Our devotion today is called Brought Forth with Joy. And we brought forth his people with joy and his chosen with gladness. And he brought forth his people with joy and his chosen with gladness. Psalm 105, 43, if y'all want to write that down. Psalm 105, 43. Have you ever been delivered out of a terrible situation, lifted out of it unharmed? Were you stunned when it happened? Had you given up? God is in the deliverance business, and when he lifts us up out of impossible situations, we are overwhelmed with joy, and we're surprised. Why do we doubt his goodness? The next time you're in a tough spot, expect to be brought forth with joy. And some of us that are doing Shibboleth may be in a tough spot right now with, with needing to lose weight. So just know that he is going to bring you out of this. He is going to deliver you from this. Just keep doing the right thing every day, every day. And then we are living a lifestyle so planned or unplanned, a holiday will happen. Just get right back to them, those perfect days, right back to them. So you can utilize our, our awesome lifestyle and strategy to achieve the results that you need and want, but also still enjoy some of the foods that you liked best. Now, there are some of you that are listening that may think, I need to treat this and certain things like I'm an alcoholic. Because if you, an alcoholic, really can't have any alcohol if they're, they've are they gotten off of the alcohol. They can't have any, okay? But in Shibboleth, we have holidays where you could have what you wanted to, but if that triggers something, if that triggers something, then don't do it. Then don't have those things, all right? It's important that you recognize that and treat it as such. Yes, Deanda, she is typing in, uh, he delivered me. That's awesome. We can type that in. Jesus delivers me. Okay, so when we hop off of here this morning, I want us to go and I want us to journal. The reason that you journal is you journal to create the icons of the, the, when you de declare your day. You're creating that icon on your timing chart. Super duper important. Then you journal what you eat underneath that and hit save to save that. So there's two different save buttons for that. Actually, there's a couple on that page, but 
you got a journal so that it creates those timing chart things. Let me show you this. Okay, this, my friend Nancy made this for me. Y'all might remember Nancy at the Cartersville store. Um, so, this right here is an example of three different journal looks, okay? This isn't a whole month. This is one week, another person doing the week differently, and another person doing this week differently. So when you journal, your first two perfect days, you get a green check. And then they decided decide to have a holiday right there. Well, remember, after a holiday, you get right back to, or after, you know, if you end up with multiple holidays in a row, it's okay. You just don't want to go over your holidays for the month. But you've got to get right back to your perfect days. So they got right back to their perfect days. Looky there. Then they had a holiday. Then they got right back to their perfect days. In this picture, they never got into efficient fat burning in that top situation. You want to see these flames on there. Okay, now look at this one. Perfect day, perfect day. EFB, that's her third perfect day or a person's third perfect day in EFB, but it's, I mean, it's their third perfect day, but it's the first one in EFB. And then you've got some flames and then there's two holidays, okay? So right here, you're efficiently burning fat. Right here, you could be putting it back on. So really, honestly, this is a better day, better week for maintenance, this is a great week for weight loss. Perfect day, perfect day. String as many efficient fat burning days together as you can. And then, you know, because if you look at six, six days in a month of 30, 31 days, and you, you'll be doing great. You'll have great results and everything. So just keep in mind that you journal so that when you look at your timing chart, you can see this visual and you can ask myself, am I doing my very best? Am I doing very best? Yes, thank y'all for typing in. Jesus delivered me. Uh, oh, yeah, Penny, yeah, you gotta, you gotta figure that out. You gotta figure it out. Keep doing whatever you have to do. It is like we are studying our own habits and our own self and doing what we need to do to correct anything that we need to correct. And you do that work too, and he helps you right along the way, okay? And Diane, you are right. Jesus delivered me big time. That's right. She can't live without him. I love that. I love that. Well, y'all, make sure that you journal. Make sure that you uh, mark the videos. Watch once I get them into the journal. I'm behind a few days. And then, um, what else? Oh, share. If you share something from the website and tag me, you know, like sharing a quote or sharing something that somebody might be interested in clicking on, it takes them to the website. Then... Um, tag me. You get two tickets in for the drawing. Two tickets in for the drawing, okay? Hey, Julie. Julie, glad you're with us this morning. That's awesome. Well, we are hopping off of here. Don't be a zombie. That's what I don't want y'all to do today is don't be a zombie. Be a conscientious thinker, recognizing your thoughts and dealing with them appropriately, not letting zombie arms go out, uh, glazed eyes go over, and walk into the pantry or to the um, fridge. Yes, please rewatch. Please rewatch. All right. Well, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day, and I will see you on the Shibby Show in the morning. Bye. Yep. Hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. That's what I forgot to say. If you're watching on replay, please type that in. Bye.